All right, hey Sagittarius. So you guys, I'm doing a quick love check, an energy check-in on you and your love situation. Um, it's kind of open-ended. So you're gonna know this is your read by your energy and how you feel about this connection. But first I'm gonna pull the mutual energy just to see how you two are kind of uh, feeling about the connection, about yourselves, about each other. So, so we're gonna start with an Oracle card. We got generous offer and listen to your intuition coming through. Okay, so some of you guys could be dealing with a situation, either you or the person that you're tuning into um, that might seem a little bit too good to be true. Um, but I'm gonna clarify with tarot, so I'm just gonna see why these cards are coming through here. We got, what do we got? The Ace of Swords. So this could be um, a brand new beginning. You got the full card coming through and the Six of Wands. Gosh, you know what? So wh what I'm going to tell you guys is this, is if you, you know, we sometimes we go through the energy and emotions of something that feels too good to be true. All right. But you know what? I've said it before in a read, you know, when something feels too good to be true, um, take a step into it, have a leap of faith. You know, I feel like that's what the full card is, is um, telling you guys. Um, take a leap of faith, okay, because not everything is the same as it was, okay, and there is, it's okay for something to be too good to be true, it's called healthy, all right, so I really feel like what's um, coming through here as far as the mutual energy is that we have the full card, Ace of Swords, that's new beginnings, and it feels like everything is just moving in the right direction, okay, with the situation, it could be too that your intuition is telling you to go, you know, just go with the flow of things, but your brain is telling you it's too good to be true. Conversely, it could be that it that energy is coming through on the other um, person's end. So I feel like it's just more of ego instead of truth. All right. If we're kind of listening to our intuition or we're not trusting in ourselves. Okay. Um, let's just see what your current energy is. You got the seven of swords in reverse. So there's something, I feel like something is off. Something is off about this um, situation. I feel like for you, the seven of swords in reverse, that's the stolen heart card. Um, it could be too that, you know what, you've been through a lot of crap when it comes to your past. Okay, so this is having to cut cords and, and you know, trim the fat off of, uh, you know, stinky relationships. I just feel like that's cord cutting. So letting go of the past. Um, and it's also too saying that you probably built yourself up in such a way through this queen of wands. You're in a position, man. You're in a position of power. You probably have a lot of energies around you right now. And it's like, I feel like you're coming through very drawn to somebody, but you are, it's not that you're totally scared, but you're not going to put your heart on the line for it just to kind of fall through the cracks. Okay. That's kind of what I see with your energy. I feel like it's you, um, you know, you've been through the ringer when it comes to past relationships and to put your heart out there one more time. It's like, you've gotten to this point. Okay, where you, it's like you could be just vibrating, you know, out there, you know, self-love, self-care. And, you know, the deeper we get into um, healing old wounds, um, we don't let a, we don't let a lot of people in our energy space, in our zone. Right. Um, and it could be, too, that, you know, there's something that might feel off about this connection with this person. But it's also, too, it feels really good. So I feel like there's a battle. There's a battle of of soul and ego, maybe. So let's just see how you feel about the connection, how you feel about the connection. All right, we have the magician card coming through. So that's divine masculine energy. You got the world card showing up here. We have the queen of pentacles. I'm leaving the card in the upright just because I feel like everything is pretty positive. So here's what I'm going to say. Maybe you've met your match when it comes to somebody who's highly independent, goal-oriented, and focused. Okay, um, and it could be, again, I'm, I'm going to bring out that too good to be true um, a type of energy because this is like somebody that you potentially have manifested into your life. Okay, but it could be too that you're like kind of in that energy of is this a joke? Is it a test? Okay, um, so if you guys are questioning what the universe is sending to you, don't question it. Just kind of go with the flow. Look at that, the star card. I mean, this is big. This is a big deal for you and I cannot help but feel you know, once again, that this is probably um, a, a situation that's coming through that's everything that you could have hoped for and more. So you got somebody strong, independent, you know, willing to put in the work, you know, um, willing to meet you in the middle. And I feel like the magician card is your your manifestation, all right, what you're stepping into next as far as relationships and friendships and building. Um, it feels like it's on the right path of what you've called in, right? So let's just see who this is, their energy. We got three cards. No, we got the six of wands showing up. So that could be um, Leo with the full card coming through. That's Aquarius. So you could be dealing with a Leo. 
Aquarius, and then we have the Eight of Wands coming through, so Sagittarius. Um, so I feel like it is new. I feel like this is definitely new energy and I feel like it's all passionate. Okay. When I see the eight of wands, I feel like it's sexting. It's being fun. It's being flirty. It's just how it's, you know how it is when you meet somebody new, you guys, and you got all those special feelings. I feel like that's how this is coming through special feelings. Um, even it, you know, even comparable to somebody from the past, it just, I feel like that energy would not feel the same as something brand new. Okay. I feel like you guys are really just in the, like, in this like I feel like you're in the it's like I don't know I feel like it's dream fog or brain fog coming through on both ends I feel like it's all mushy and gushy and good and positive and happy and harmonious right now okay and I feel like that's the vibe they get off just fun 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 all right and it's not that they can't be serious but it's like this it's lighthearted and we're taking it easy and we're gonna see where the journey takes us that's what I feel about this energy so let's just see how they feel about the connection how they feel about the connection what do we got we have the eight of cups coming through i feel like that's coming towards wanting to solidify it we have the moon card showing up right here this is all about imagination it, it's intuition it's almost too like what i feel that sits between you guys is this is speaking of this person's dreams we have the chariot card and the eight of cups i really feel like this is their dream walking to them and it being a success okay um, I, I feel like this is like everything I could have dreamed, I could have dreamed of or hoped for. Okay. And really it's the chariot coming through is all about success protection, like wanting to wanting the dynamic to really move forward. And I really feel like they're putting a lot of good faith. All right. Into this connection into you. So let's see what their hopes and desires are their hopes and desires. Look at that, that you guys got balance. You got making money. Success is strongly coming through here. You got the king of pentacles and the king of swords. So um, as far as hopes and desires, it's building together, it's growing together, it's teamwork. So you guys could be two entrepreneurs, you don't have to be, I just feel like this is business minded. Okay, this is like um, wealth, it's leadership, it's stability, it's security, you know, it's like, I kind of feel like you guys are probably um, the same when it comes to having a vision for the future, having goals for the future. The page of pentacles is all about manifesting opportunities. All right, and it's it's like co-creating together. So I really feel like let's let's dream big and then make it happen. Okay, so let's just see how you make them feel. How you make this person feel. Look at that. You know, this is all about the it's the opposite of heartbreak, loneliness and loss. Look at deep soul connection, deep soul communication. I just feel like abundant opportunities to come. All right. So if there was any, you know, heartbreak or heartache or sadness beforehand, um, it's like really um, stepping up. This person's moving out of that. It's like, um, I feel like, and it's not that they're hiding um, stuff that needs to be healed, but I really feel like it's more about what hurt, what pain, what loss. Okay. I just feel like they see a, it's like a, a tunnel vision for forward movement, um, with you. So let's just see what their intentions are with you, their intentions. And this is a 30 to 45 day read. Okay. So look at this, the, the five of cups coming through. So if you guys are wondering if you're going to get hurt or the stolen heart card is coming through, you know, you're worried or you have fears, I feel like this person is here to take that away from you, to heal, all right? They're, they're bringing a warm vibe. The Empress card is all about abundance, new beginnings. It's going the distance. It's building together. It's uh, let me be your sense. Let me be your peace. Let me be your home. Let me be your sense of security, all right? So let's see what their next move is, what's happening in the next 30 to 45 days. I feel like you guys are stepping into new love, man, and it's all it's unfolding, all right, the King of Cups showing up with the Ace of Cups and the Seven of Wands. I feel like you guys are taking a step to kind of solidify. Um, so I don't know how long you guys have been going at this, but I really feel like this is a newer connection that's really kind of um, molding into, a, it's taken shape, Matt. It's, it's turning into something beautiful, okay? Um, I feel like this is an offer coming through, and it's like you guys can't shake each other. Um, that Seven of Wands, when I see that, that's more about just you think about them they think about you, so why not make it happen? And with that King of Cups, that's just somebody that's putting their heart out on the sleeve. So I really feel like if you guys have a strong desire to solidify this and move it forward, that this there's a lot of potential, okay, for that to happen. So just stay positive and think positive about the next big things that are coming through for you and this connection. So I'm going to pull some messages from this person. See what they got for you. All right oh yeah you guys are like occupying the mind space 
I'm starting to understand our connection. I bury myself in work to forget you. I don't feel like that's negative at all. I feel like it's more about God. You know, I got, I, I can't, I have other things to do. Um, you know, aside from think about you, Sagittarius, but it, you, they can't help it. Look at, I feel the sexual tension coming through. So some of you guys may or may not have done that yet. Um, but if you haven't, I feel like it's going to be explosive. And then I can't stop thinking about you. Look at this person is like intentionally trying to keep themselves busy because they probably feel like a school kid. Um, oh my gosh. So let's pull some initials. I love it. I love it. Um, you guys deserve this big energy. All right. So we have LF, ZI, JN. All right, Sagittarius, um, I feel pretty confident. I hope that you guys will let me know who this is for, man. Take it easy. Take care, you guys. Talk to you soon.